Hi heathens! So today Casper is <laughs> joining me to present today's video which from the title is obviously going to be the December 2019 Ipsy Plus unbagging, unboxing. I'm super excited for this because ever since I have started getting Ipsy Plus it has easily surpassed all of my expectations so I am a little flushed um, I just got home I'm actually uploading another video as we speak but I could not wait I wanted to go ahead and dig into this I did what did I wind up picking so Ipsy has started doing this thing where every month they allow you to make a pick for both the regular glam bag and the plus and I'm sure the ultimate but I don't have that one so I do remember that the regular Ipsy was a super easy pick for me which you'll see when I film it um, but this one I remember having some difficulty because of the choices and I don't I don't actually remember what I wound up picking which is kind of crazy but now that I'm thinking about it I remember some of the options and I remember trying to look up a little bit of information to try to make a, a decision and I don't remember what I picked anyway without further ado let's get right on in so right off the top there's some pretty decent sized items and I see now and I remember what I picked so I'm going to get the bat or the I always want to say bag the card out first which is shine on is this month's theme it says sparkle shimmer and shine this month let's clink glasses to a year full of diving in barring all and finding your light it's time to celebrate how far you've come and then of course inside it should show all the items and their pricing so I'm gonna start right on the top which is the item I gotta find somewhere to put this real quick Ugh. which is the item that I wound up picking ah, there we go and it is the Tarte stay spray which is a setting spray um, it says Tarte high performance natural stay spray stay spray setting spray and then on the back it says that it locks makeup in place for 16 hours it is transfer proof it is weightless and micro fine cucumber and aloe extracts so that should feel really good at the very least um, kind of makes me wish that it was not for the heat but it kind of makes me wish it was summer again because spraying something with like cucumber extracts feels really nice in the summer so this is what the bottle looks like it does say shake well so we're going to shake well and see how it sprays let me probably take these off because i'm gonna spray my face i'm gonna spray it first and see oh that is really nice mm. So I'm still stuffy and can barely smell, but I can smell the cucumber in this. So that's really nice. Feels good. Don't know how it works for makeup, so we'll have to see when I do like my try on or, you know, end of the month wrap up. Maybe I can do a full day wear test using that and see how it helps or if it helps. So next thing in here is the big box. It is from complex culture or complex culture I'm not sure we designed this brush to make your life easier introducing complex culture life's complicated your beauty routine shouldn't be we're making things easier one eco-friendly product at a time starting with this brush okay so it says press and set bronzer this two-in-one brush helps you achieve a soft finish and glow don't sweep press the flat side into skin to set powder Use the tips to apply bronzer, sculpt cheeks, and blend. Luxuriously dense Syntec bristles. Syntec. Vegan cruelty free. And then explore the full collection and view tutorials at Complex Culture Beauty. So, and then at the top it says it is press and set bronzer. 
So I, obviously a bronzer brush, not like actual bronzer. And then, ooh, it's got a nice little cover. So if I pull that down, it's got a nice soft matte handle. It says press and set bronzer on it. And then this part is going to be very fingerprint prone. Ooh, it's really soft. Ooh, that feels nice. Ooh. I could just rub this on my face all day. Ooh, I can't wait to play with that. I love getting new brushes. This thing feels fancy. It's got a, it's very light, but it's got a nice handle. Like, it feels good because it's nice and wide. But it does kind of look like there's a bit of a gap between the two colors. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but anyway, next we have a smaller little bottle, Evolu Super Oil. Directions, apply two to three drops in AM and PM as needed. I have no idea what this is supposed to do. I can see it in there. It's about that full. Um, it doesn't have any directions except for, does it have a cap? Oh, it does. Okay. So this little cap slides on and off. I can't smell anything. I'm going to just put it on the back of my hand. My hands. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to look into what that's for. Because it literally doesn't have any information on it. It's weird. It doesn't have a box. Next item is an Illamask liquid eyeliner in black. So it's got a rather thick tip. And then I'm going to do it along my thumb. Since I just put that oil on, I don't want it to... Oh! That went on really easily. I didn't want the oil to make it any different. I'll see how well that dries down and see if it leaves any like bleeding into my fine lines. Then we have an It's Build Your Own Palette, Magnetic Palette. It's the palette. <laughs> I don't know what that brand is. I-T-T-S-E is what it looks like down there. It says, a luxe mirrored palette with a freeform magnetic component for makeup singles of all size. That's cool. I don't know if it has any colors in here, but it has some things listed as ingredients for Sure Shot, After Hours, Bare Canvas, and Velveteen. So I'm assuming that there are some already in here. It's got like a nice faux leather packaging. I don't know, I just caught a whiff of something. Yeah, okay, that's really not what I was expecting for some reason. Um, there's like a piece of plastic down here. It's got a mirror in it, but it's got these four pans of I assume eyeshadow oh yeah okay so this piece in here can come up and then you've got more room to put other other items and I'm gonna swatch the bottom two I don't know which colors they are <laughs> um, I'm gonna swatch them on the back of my hand over the mystery oil, which has mostly dried down. So we've got one color and two color. Wow, that one kind of all plopped into one spot, which could be because of the oil because it kind of blended out nicer. So I'm gonna have to play around with that, see if I want to try to use up these pans before I take out the like extra piece of foam holding them in. 
or if I want to go ahead and take that out and utilize it as a magnetic palette, kind of moving them up and putting other shades in here. So, trying to like arrange stuff on my desk as I sort through. And then last but not least, we have this month's bag, which is just a cute little, pretty nice for like holidays. It's in a very nice shine. Blue zipper with like dark blue around the zipper. And then, so that's cute. So let me get back to the card and see what we are looking at as far as retail value. So we have the, okay, so the eyeshadow palette, it, the brand is I-T-T-S-E. So if anyone knows how to say that, please enlighten me. Um, that is a $60 palette, or quad. Whew, $60 for this. So we're already off to a heavy start. All right, so the oil is Evolu Skincare Super Oil. It says instant moisture without heaviness. This plant-based squalane oil goes on like a serum. It soaks in instantly and doesn't leave behind any greasy residue. Apply two to three, two to three drops for skin that's radiant, supple, and super glowy. This is $68. Jeez, we have already broken the hundred. Oh, God, I can't talk. We have already broken the one hundred dollar mark, and we are only on the second item. So the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Stay Spray Setting Spray. Good Lord, look at that name. Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape. Stay Spray Setting Spray. Retails for $25. The eyeliner, which has not yet settled into any fine lines. Let me see how... Oh! Staying in place pretty well. Hmm. There's like a little bit that you can see on my finger. But you know what, that actually might be from the eyeshadow. Because that's the finger that I actually swatched the deeper shadow with. I gotta say, I'm pretty, pretty impressed because it didn't smudge at all. So that eyeliner is $22. And then the, ooh, the bronzer brush is $35. That's kind of pricey. But, I mean, we definitely exceeded the... $120 minimum for Ipsy Plus. So, like, the only thing that kind of makes me sad is that this is supposed to be $68, and it's, like, just over half full to start off with. It didn't come in a box. It's just over half full. Nothing. Like, it's a little weird for being that pricey, but... Um, and this is $60, which blows my mind. Like I said, the little piece in it, like, clearly is capable of coming out so that you can put other multiple shadows in it. And it does have the, like, protective piece of plastic. But $60 seems pretty high. So I'm going to have to look a little bit into that brand because I've never heard of them. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just slacking. But... Yeah, so that is my December 2019 Ipsy Plus. Let me know what you thought down below. I gotta say, I'm not as crazy as this one right off the bat as I have been about previous ones. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm not mad. I don't dislike anything. This eyeliner really impressed me because it didn't budge at all running my fingers over it after it dried. So we'll just have to see how everything performs. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. 
I will see you guys next time. Bye!